everybody, it's me, Crystal. Sorry I didn't get on last week. this last week. I know I said I would try for Monday, but I ended up getting the flu. I'm still kind of getting over it, so don't mind me and my tired mess of a face. Um, I just want to do a short video today. Melissa did something on hers about budgeting and how people, how other people are doing budgeting. So I'm going to talk about how I budget and how I save money every month, especially since I got a new puppy, so I'm going to have to budget like a lot more. Um, so I have two pets, a cat and a dog. I only buy groceries, literally, I only buy groceries like once a month, and I spend probably less than $80 in groceries for a month for me and my son. How I do that is, I coupon a lot. I budget out my, uh, I'll first talk about budgeting out my non-variables, like rent, um, phone bill, that kind of thing. I always know how much my phone bill is going to be, so I tend to pay extra so I have a credit on my bill. That is good to do, especially in the winter months when it gets closer to birthdays or I have a lot of birthdays from October to December so when it gets closer to those months on birthdays having a credit on your cell phone bill or your telephone bill or your internet bill is a really good thing. I manage to do this by no matter how much my bill is paying at least a hundred dollars on the bill every month. It doesn't matter how much my bill is. My rent includes my utilities, so I don't have to pay utilities. That is a good thing. Now, come to the variable expenses, like clothes, entertainment, like me and the guy I'm dating like to go to movies at least once or twice a month, so I save money for that or buy gift cards. Um, I joined this program called Scene, which you can earn points towards free movies and you get a free movie every thousand points you get so that's a good thing um rewards programs are awesome i've gotten so many get like gas cards from petro points and i earn petro points by doing surveys online honestly i gain between 100 and 2500 bonus points for petrol points per survey that I do online. It takes like 10 minutes of my time and I've gained points. In the last two months I've gained almost enough to refill my fuel savings card which is five cents of savings every month, like every time you fill up, so to 250 liters. So that last me and the guy I'm seeing probably two and a half months and by then I'm able to reload my card. Um, second way I save money is by couponing. I know it sounds annoying and oh you don't gain much by couponing but I always look for the best deals. I take wires with me that price match. I also have an app on my phone that does the price matching and tells where all the deals in my area are and what the prices are so I can verify with the stores and price match with the stores that I'm getting a better deal somewhere else. Usually Target will price match it plus 10% and then coupon. So I can walk out of a store with toothpaste, um, laundry soap, shampoo, all of that stuff for less than a dollar. Honestly, I have bought like so, I have so much shampoo and conditioner and toothbrushes and toothpaste to last me like six months. I'm not even kidding, like honestly. Um, so I'm a big couponer. I coupon a lot. I will buy things in the store if they are a good price, especially if they have a coupon on the box or in the box because I like to save money. Um, 
I don't buy a lot of meat, like I just decided to go vegetarian, so I'm just going to be eating like chicken and fish and very little. So that is not an expense that I have a lot, but there is this place called Olson's Meat Market in my city where you can go and buy meats and stuff for a very discounted price. Like I can buy a big block of cheese for $2. So I go to farmers markets and the city market to buy my groceries most of the time and my snacks I will buy in bulk at either Costco or Walmart for like 40 granola bars I'll pay five dollars so that is a very good deal so those last me for schools almost two and a half months which is good so I don't have to buy groceries like the non-essential groceries for a long long time I'll also buy like my passes in bulk if they're in stock and I eat gluten free so I use a lot of coupons that I've contacted gluten free companies for because of my Crohn's I can't eat a lot of gluten so I will bulk buy gluten stuff at the bulk barn it does cost less money than going to the grocery store um what else I don't have cable but I do have internet so any show that I want to watch I watch on the internet so that saves a lot of money um also, if you do reviews, sometimes they will give you products for free. I have not bought a book. Okay, I'm a big reader. I'm reading a book called The Atlantis Code right now. This is the first book that I bought in the last three years. I don't buy books. I enter to win them on goodreads.com. And the only thing that they ask if you win is write a review of the book of your honest opinion of the book. How hard is that? Read a book and write a review of it? Hell yeah, for a free book, I'll do that. I only enter the ones that I, I'm interested in. Some people will enter all of them, but I don't. I only enter the ones that I'm interested in. And so far this year, I've won, I think it's two or three books. Just let me check here. I've won. I'm checking to see how many books I've won this year. Um, two books this year. Plus I won one in December. So in right after right before Christmas I won a book. So in the last month, not even, I have won three books off of Goodreads. Two in the last like two weeks. On January 6th I won a book and on January 12th I won a book. So that helps me with budgeting. I also go on and do some surveys that will give me money. Like I have signed up to this company that pays you for your opinions and they actually do pay you. You can get your payout at like ten dollars or whatever so I will spend 10 or 15 minutes doing surveys just to earn some extra money for my house. Um, I also do swag bucks and a lot of people are like swag bucks, who cares, but you can earn tons of like stuff from there. Like I have gained probably 20 PayPal $5 gift cards or even Starbucks. Like I've probably gained three Starbucks. Any opportunity I can to save money, I do. Um, when my son was little, I cloth diapered and breastfed because that saves a lot of money. And I know some people cannot breastfeed and that's fine. Um, I also signed up for mommy uh, programs like Pediasure sends me coupons all the time. Um, the Similac Ma prenatal club sends me coupons which I share with my pregnant friends. I, I sign up just so I can give my pregnant friends coupons because six dollars off of something or a six dollar check towards something is awesome. Um, also formula whatever checks are cool because they give you like ten and fifteen dollars for them. So, mommy clubs, sign up for those because they do give you free money. Like, that's free money. Five dollars free money, so you're getting 
five dollars off of your formula or five dollar or ten dollars off your formula or five dollars off your pediatrician my son drinks pediatrician so that's a big help um i sign up for free samples so i don't have to like whatever get shampoo every day or every shopping trip um and i eat a lot of fresh fruit and stuff so i will buy it from the farmer's market because it is way cheaper so that's my budgeting thing for this week um what else can i talk about oh my good my gofundme account if you can donate please do i have earned enough to get the braces like the first payment to get the braces put on my teeth but in order to do that I have to pay $275 every month to do so and that is a lot of money for a single mom on one income like I've been looking for a job for the last three months and not been able to find one so um, I do need this surgery it's really important my health is going way downhill because of it I've gotten um, a disorder now called sleep apnea where I stop sleeping in like stop breathing in my sleep because my na my airways are so narrow and I'm a mouth breather because I have a deviated septum as you can tell my nose um, my nasal cavity is really narrow I don't know if you can see but this one is totally blocked and this one only has like 5% air air going through it so you can tell my septum is very deviated. I will show you how high my palate rises and why it's a problem for me to breathe through my nose. I don't know if you can see, but... It goes way up there. Like, you probably can't even see. I don't even know why I showed you my mouth, but... Yeah, um... I'm going to link that in this video as well because it's really important for me to get this done. I wouldn't ask if I didn't have like the need for it, but I really do have the need. Um, you can check out my Facebook page. I don't know how to do like a, a profile where people can just follow me. So, um, my Facebook page, until I can figure that out, is Mi Vida Loca, My Crazy Life. So, I will link that in the links as well at the bottom of this page. And don't forget to check out Mom Talk TV because they have a lot of great information. So, for this week, I'm signing off. I will try to do a video on coping with stress maybe tomorrow or maybe Tuesday depends on how I'm feeling I'm still not feeling very well so um, maybe tomorrow maybe Tuesday but I will definitely do a how do I cope with stress video I just wanted to get through the budgeting part of it because a lot of people in January are like oh my god how do other people budget and a lot of us are not in a position to be spending a lot of money. It's getting tougher and tougher to live lately, especially if you live in the east coast of Canada. It's really tough to live. Um, especially if you live in the east coast of Canada.